We're on tour in New Zealand. We're at the Birds Ferry Lodge. Kia ora, welcome to the west coast of New Zealand. We are Alison and Andre Jigex, and we've been living and working at Birds Ferry Lodge for the last five years. We built it five years ago from scratch. We found some bare land and we love the view to the ocean and the peace and quiet and the wild birds and the views of the mountains and we decided to live here. Andre has 15 years experience as a tour guide in New Zealand and with my catering experience from Scotland we thought we had a good formula to set up Birds Ferry Lodge. And there are activities beyond the lodge, there's half a dozen beaches to choose from and these beaches on the west coast are really wild, huge waves and lots and lots of driftwood coming down from the forest and I bring a lot of this driftwood back onto our property here and I use it in some of my garden art and outdoor furniture. Another thing we do over here is I'm a holistic massage therapist so guests can have a soak in our spa pool which is outside on the deck behind me and after that when the circulation is all going and they're nice and warm they can come and have a one hour holistic massage with me inside the lodge. The history of the name of the lodge, um, 100 to 150 years ago, this was a pioneering gold mining area within New Zealand. And there were 20,000 people living in tents in Charleston looking for gold. And Mr. Bird operated a ferry across the Totara River, which is behind us here. And that's why we've called this Lodge Birds Ferry Lodge. We have a lot of wild birds on the property, and we also hear the kiwi here at night. When visitors come to the South Island and come to the West Coast, this is a really good part of the coast to spend a few nights. Basing yourself at Birds Ferry Lodge or in our ferryman's cottage, there's a lot to see and do here, enough to fill several days um, out and about. Um, the Punakaiki Pancake Rocks, which are world famous um, limestone formations, are only a 30 minute drive away from here. A little bit north of us, just before Westport, is the famous seal colony, which is the largest fur seal colony, certainly in the South Island of New Zealand. And most of our visitors spend some time there photographing the seals. They get really close to them and they're looking at them from above, so it's a really good place to see wild seals and there's a lovely bay there where they can take a guest can take a walk on the beach and enjoy the ocean. Sustainable tourism is really important to us because we are constantly told how pristine and undamaged and untouched New Zealand is and it's really important we we think it's really important that that's maintained for as long as possible if not forever and we try to do our bit here um, and we also try to educate our guests a little too. Um, last year we were assessed by Qualmark, which is a New Zealand government agency. Um, and we were one of the first five businesses in New Zealand to be awarded the Qualmark Enviro Gold Award, which means that we're reaching very high standards of environmental sustainability within a tourism business within New Zealand. So when you come to New Zealand, you've got to come to the South Island. We highly recommend it. And try and spend as much time down here as you can, especially on the West Coast. The West Coast has a pristine rainforest environment that ha has a long coastline of magic white-sanded white beaches and big precipitous cliffs going into the sea. And there's a real feeling of, of pureness over here that people take back with them as memories and, and really bounce off those memories once they're back home. So come and visit us at Birds Ferry Lodge and share it with us and we'll take really good care of you. Check out the Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating, available wherever books are sold. If you've always wondered about visiting exotic and beautiful New Zealand, then check out Organic Explorer New Zealand. OrganicExplorer.com